Hey, how's it going, my friend? This is James Rittenhouse, founder of PCI Institute. And today's video is going to be about Simpleology. Um, we're going to be doing a quick, I'm going to be doing a quick review video on Simpleology. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with what Simpleology is, Simpleology is essentially an online productivity planner where you can use this system to help you with planning out your day, will help you achieve the goals that you want to get more things done in less time. And I think this is a really great system and it's something I've been using for quite a while now. It's actually been about six, seven months and I strongly recommend that if you have trouble with like just staying on staying on task or if you have trouble with just being organized in general, then you really want to take a look at this simpleology system and see like what it can do for you. But before we jump into the system, I just want to talk a little bit about um the person that's behind the system. And this guy's name is Mark Joyner. Now, Mark Joyner is the CEO and founder of Symbology, and this guy, prior to him founding Symbology, he actually has a quite a number of accolades um, to his name, such as being the founder of the first ebook publishing company, the first online tracking company, um, the first pay the second pay per click search engine that actually came out before Google, and also he authored over a dozen books, several of which were number one bestsellers. Some of these books include The Irresistible Offer, Mind Control Marketing, The Great Formula, etc. So the man that's behind Simplology is not so short of brilliant. He's a marketing legend, and he decided to to really just to create something to help people become more productive and become the best that they can possibly be. So for that being said, we're just gonna hop on over real quick to simpleology and i'm gonna show you how it all starts really and it really starts by um clicking the whole start my day thing so from start my day the first thing you see is the morning brainstorm now over here in the morning brainstorm what you can do is you can just go and you can just like write down like different things that are like on your mind such as big things small things little annoyances things you want to get done that day whatever the case may be so you just go and you write like a couple of things down you hit the next button from there you go on to the stay focused module now over on the stay focused module now over here i've actually already went through the trouble of defining of what my major focuses are so pretty much what stay Focus does is it helps you it gives you a second just to review your major focuses and then you ask yourself what are some of the things that you can do to help you get closer to attaining your major focus so after you jot down a couple of different ideas you hit the next button again you go to recurring task so pretty much recurring tasks are just a special list of tasks that you want to be delegated so let's say like you want to go let's say like i have something over here like i want to click i want to read for 15 to 20 minutes a day so i just click on it and boom it's a copy to the brainstorm list so right now really the key here like this is the entire brainstorm section so really only thing you're doing here is just jotting down different ideas based on the questions that the system asks and then when we get on later down over here that's when we start actually making sense out of the list and being able to figure out what is it we actually want to get done today versus things that could either get deleted or get delegated or what have you but i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here so moving on you hit the next button and now you go to reviewing your systems so your systems are pretty much just some um, tasks that get delegated automatically without you really having to think about it so just to give you just to give you an example these are a couple of tasks that i have delegated so i have tasks like checking my email um reading doing my brain training stuff like that so i don't ever really have to think about um delegating these tasks and i just make sure that everything is just running properly and once you're satisfied with that you hit the next button one more one more time and now you go to the business growth module now i think this is really cool because like i said symbology is also a productivity planner but as you can see it also is a business growth um plan as well like it really helps you with like growing your business regardless of what kind of business you have so over here the, in the business growth module we have um three separate sections that we're going to be looking at the first section is going to be reviewing your goals so over here you have your goal that you're reviewing and over here is your firing and your firing grows in proportion to how often you're using the business growth module so i've been using it for quite a time right now so as you can see i'm just about halfway towards hitting my next rank so from here after you finish reviewing your goal Goals, it goes to understand business goal and the way to break down business goal is they break it down into four different sections which is frame intensity regeneration and efficiency 
um, you can learn more about that by clicking on the library or just reading the blog post and finally go to brainstorm improvement so based on on what step that you're on you um pretty much brainstorm now what it is that you want to do in regards to that step for your business so today is about regeneration they also give you a business goal for idea for the day just to kind of help you give you some ideas of what it is that you want to do so after you're done with that you click finish the rest of summer day and now you go into the reserve and change module now over here in the reserve and change module it breaks down to four different subsections now today's focus is going to be on energy but you can focus on one of three things which is your time your money and your energy so in the first step step since we're focusing on energy for today we're going to figure out we're going to you're going to look back over your day and just figure out what has been like a leech on your energy and this could be different from different people what may be a leech on your energy for you may not be for someone else this all pertains to what is um like what pertains to you specifically specifically i should say um, you go to subset B, which is pretty much on what actions you could take to remove those leeches. And then from C, you click down, you identify the energy boosters, the things that actually boost your energy. And then finally, your step D, we end with like what actions can we take to boost energy in the future? Now, you can replace energy with time or money. It all is pretty much all the same thing. So after you finish going through the observe and chain module, you just click to finish the rest of start my day. You go to update trackers. Now trackers is pretty much just special list. So anything that you can quantify and um, put or attach a numerical value to will count as a tracker. So right over here, you see I'm right now I'm currently tracking like um well for example, you could track the number of leads that you have. So for over here, you could just put down the number. So let's say you only had two leads, you just put down the number two, and then you just keep putting it down. If like if that's all that you have for the day, you click next. Um, you go to the Ben Franklin habits. Now the way that the Ben Franklin habits works is that Ben Franklin, he was this guy where I mean, pretty much if you're if you're from America, you should know who Ben Franklin is. But if you're not from America or if you just never heard of Ben Franklin for whatever reason, he was actually one of the founding fathers of the United States. And it's legend has it that what he would do is at the end of each day, he would sit down and he would take out a pen and paper and he would grade himself along 11 different virtues and stuff. So pretty much this module works in very much the same way where you go and you can like choose the different like habits that you want to have. You can also customize if you want, write down like a little description excuse me write down like a little description next to like each habit and stuff and then just grade yourself on the scale of one to ten to see like all right like on the scale of one to ten how assertive was i today or in the past 24 hours or whatever or on the scale of one to ten how objective was i today on the scale of one to ten how adaptable was i today and you just keep on going down the list until you're satisfied until you knocked out on all your habits from there you just click the save button you click next over next now we actually get to the decide step so we're done brainstorming we're done recording the information i need to record now it's time to decide and actually make sense out of all the things that we've um pretty much been clicking on and stuff so over here you're just going to look at all the different um um targets slash ideas that you have here and you're either going to um put them in one of three categories either a you're going to do it b you're going to deliberate on it or c you're going to dump it so if you would say like let's say this is something that you want to do today like right now um, one of my tasks is to create my video for simple logic review, which is actually what I'm doing right now. So I just click the do button. Let's say if I had something that I want to delete here. So let's say I want to delete this. I just, I just click on it. I click delete. Boom. This now ends up in the dump it pile. Or if I want to deliberate or something, I'll just click here. Boom. And then it goes to deliberate and deliberate. You could do either a couple of things. You can either go and um, set a reminder to have you remind yourself about it at a different date. You can go and you can put it on a list. Um, you could do you could do one of those two things, or you can just leave it alone, and it just automatically ends up in your do it later list. Now, I don't want to get too much into the nitty gritty here. I just want to kind of give you like a general overview of how the simpleology system works. Um, you're gonna learn a lot more about it, especially when you do um to when you do the actual training. That's actually integrated with the simpleology system, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So after you finish um um delegating everything and putting everything in its proper place then you just go and you get this message here that says everything's been categorized you just click the next button and then from here you have to do it now to delegate the schedule to dump it so pretty much this right here means do it now and this is something that you're actually going to do today no if ands or buts about it delegate pretty much means that you're going to delegate to someone else um schedule means that you're going to just going to put on your calendar you can put on your google calendar um just for the sake of the demonstration i'm going to put schedule just so you can kind of get an idea of how exactly it works so let's say i want to schedule this and put it for a later date i'll just press the next button 
So over here, you go to create video for the review, and from here you can either add the task manually, you can download the iCal file, which works with most calendar softwares, or you can go to add to MS Outlook or Google Calendar. I strongly recommend using Google Calendar because I think that's just pretty much the most straightforward. It makes things really easy. There really isn't too much, too many things you have to click. So you just go to Google Calendar, you set the, the time and day. So let's say I wanted to make a 1 30. You press done add date and time and you see once you go and you click add date and time it automatically fires up the google calendar for you so that way you can just add it straight on to your calendar and stuff so let's just say that's done so we're going to hit the next button and now actually now what i should have done is um i should have demonstrated how the priority module works so Actually, I'm just going to go over here to the view just so you can guys get a better idea of how the prioritizing works. You can also read this blog post as well. This also um, does a really good job of explaining how anything works in case it's something that you missed in the video or something you didn't quite understand. So over here in the prioritize module, you can actually prioritize the targets after you finish choosing what it is that you actually want to get done for the day. So over here for prioritize, there's actually three different... um of ways you can prioritize your targets or the things you want to get done for the day you can either use freeform where you're just able to drag things into its proper order you can use the high impact minimal effort where on a scaling one to ten you can grade how much of an impact this thing would have on your life versus how easy it would be it does the multiplication and then it gives you a, a hymie score so pretty much the higher the hymie score that means the greater the impact and the in the in the less the effort that it has so a higher hymie score is better and if you want to do it the Jaime way then I strongly recommend doing the things with the higher Jaime score first and then just kind of working your way down the list and finally we have the big rock little rocks so where oh uh, excuse me you go and you, you for so for each target you pretty much grade his level of difficulty on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being extremely difficult one being easy as pie so for people who like to kind of tackle the, the hard things first and the easy thing afterwards or do the easier things first and the hard things afterwards this is also this is a really great way to kind of just um organize your date so that way you can um adjust it accordingly and then finally after you're done with the whole prioritizing then you just have your list of daily targets you actually have the list of the things that you want to do you went through a very specific process just to make sure that you got everything out of your head that you need to get out and then from here you end up with just a list of things that are actually going to move you forward things that actually matter to you and you're not just doing random things throughout the day you're actually doing things that are actually going to help move you forward and progress you forward so um afterwards um i want to also want to talk real quick about um, about the dojo so the dojo pretty much what the dojo is is that um it, it has like a bell system where for each belt, you're going to learn a specific skill related to the symbology system. So starting with the white belt, you have the morning brained up in the side. With from the yellow belt, you have, we had to say focus module. Then there's basic Kankyo Kaizen. You'll learn more about that later when you get to your orange belt training. But pretty much Kankyo Kaizen, just to give you a, pretty much a quick and dirty definition of how it works, is that it shows you like um different ways for you to make um small consistent improvements over time so that's pretty much the main concept behind it but you're going to learn more about that once you go to the actual training and after that we have the prioritize which is which you get them um, in the amber belt training then after the amber belt training is the purple belt which is when you add the observe and change module then afterwards you learn how to use the dream catcher via sms and email by the way this is the dream catcher just in case i know i didn't quite go over that just yet but pretty much what the dream catcher does is like let's say as you're going throughout your day and you're working on some stuff and all of a sudden out of nowhere you just have an idea that just pops up in your head out of nowhere but you're in the middle of doing your work right now so what you do is you go and you fire up your dream catcher you just type whatever idea you wanted to type you press enter now it's saved in your symbology system you don't have to worry about losing that idea and now you can go and just focus on the things that you were doing before and then you can always go and get back to that idea back to when you go and you do start my day all over again in the morning so Dreamcatcher is by far one of my favorite tools, so I definitely recommend you should make good use of it. Um, after you go through the Dreamcatcher, you're going to learn more about how to, like the list function works. Then from the list, you're going to learn more about engines. Then um, you're going to learn how to use the stuff I want plus the Blackboard Planner. Um, real quick, just uh, the Blackboard Planner. 
um, let's say you have a goal that you want to hit so this will be the goal right here so what you want to do is you want to imagine what is the thing you be doing before you hit that goal and then you go and you write that down then you imagine the thing you'd be doing before that and you write it down so pretty much what you're doing is you're engaging your imagination to imagine the very thing you have to do before you actually before you pretty much you, you're working backwards like which is why it's called a backward planning you're working backwards from when you actually finally hit your goal and then you're taking logical steps backward all the way back to where you are right now so now you have a very clear way of how you need to go about um achieving your goal or your focus or whatever the case may be so that's just a backward plan in a nutshell and finally we have the delegation um um belt which is i mean the black belt which is where you learn more about how to delegate and this is where you're going to learn about how to use the projects um real quick the projects is based off um um kanban and kanban is um the agile mythology so pretty much you have um these cards over here and each one of them represent like a unit of worker information so they're really good for um create so when you have like a really complex project that you're working on you can just go it's a really neat way for organizing the information you're going to learn a little bit more about that in the black belt training i'm not going to go too much into that right now and also the delegation station um, pretty much uh, as the name suggests it allows you to um delegate certain tasks to other people so you just click on the delegate station over here and we're just going to wait for this to finish loading it looks like it's uh there we go it's downloading so you just press the plus button to delegate to delegate a task write a quick description some comments add some attachments and then you just add a name of whoever it is you want to delegate um the task to now just some um, a quick note here in order to delegate a task to someone else they have to have a simple they have to have a symbology account as well you can't delegate tasks to people that don't have a symbology system so real quick that was just some um, the how the delegation system work um about project delegation station that's all related to the black belt training um over here we got the symbology system which is um tasks that get delegated automatically so i have a couple of systems over here that i use to to kind of just run my life and stuff to make sure that i'm staying on top of everything especially when it comes to business because i'm sure as you know like if you've been in business for any length of time it's very easy for things to kind of like slip away from you or not to get around to things but once you're able to just automatically delegate the things that you need to get done it just makes life a whole lot easier whole lot easier and this is pretty much um how a system look at where you pretty much have the what which is what needs to get done why it needs to get done when it needs to get done who who created the system how it starts and then the different tasks that are associated with that specific system so just to give you guys a quick conclusion on um, the simple hourly system is a digital productivity planner um, created by Mark Joyner and pretty much his goal is to help people become more productive in less time just to double your productivity just so so because at the end of the day time is really the only thing that we have and when you go in you abuse your time and you don't use your time properly what happens is you don't get that time back so pretty much how this system comes into play is that it helps you with just making sure you stay on track and that you're using your time in a more efficient and a more effective way to get things done to get the things that you actually want to get done to help you move you closer to the things that you actually want so that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys and just to end this video off i want to i want to offer you today some exclusive bonuses that you'll receive for joining me in simpleology just for trying to system out just to see if it works for you if it's something that's a good fit for you i'm gonna give you three bonuses for um joining me in simpleology now the first bonus is i'm going to give you my personal simpleology system for crafting the ultimate persuasion message now before i go and i craft because i do a lot of marketing online on the internet and stuff and whether you're a marketer or entrepreneur or maybe you're just someone that want to be more persuasive in general if you use a system that i give you i'm telling you you're going to become one of the most persuasive people you will ever meet and i absolutely guarantee and i i can almost guarantee that like you will become that much more persuasive just by utilizing this particular system the second thing i want to give you is i want to give you my seven step process for creating a well-defined major focus like as we have talked about like uh, in simpleology you have um your major focuses over here you have your short-term focus your medium term focus and your long-term focus so it allows you to get the uh, to get the chance to kind of like just write a couple of things down but if you really want to have a major focus that's really powerful that's really compelling that's really something you can actually see yourself achieving then you really what you want to do is you want to follow my um seven step process 
emphasis to creating a very well-defined major focus so that way you know exactly what it is that you want and how you are going and it becomes that much easier to go about getting it and last but not least i want to give you an additional 10 productivity hacks just to get the most out of your day because at the end of the day symbology is a productivity system and i believe that you should be using this and i want to give you just more value so that way you become more productive and some of these um productivity hacks actually work with the symbology system as well so that's also really exciting so guys hope you got a lot of value out of this video hope this helped you at the very least consider um, the idea of getting um symbology so that way you can become more productive in your life and be able to have more time in your day to do the things that you want to do once again this is james rittenhouse founder of um pci institute make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're watching this on youtube right now just so you can get access to my latest videos as soon as they come out and i will see you on the next video talk to you soon bye